All right, guys. Whew. Finally about out of the woods here. Pretty good little hike. Uh, but, man, I enjoy it. I enjoy coming out here. Got my snake boots on. Yeah, we're good to go. We still don't want to run into any rattlesnakes. But anyway, uh, today's cooking adventure, I was going to do some deer burgers, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to cook up some good old Cornish hens. That's right. We're going to do some Cornish hens. So I'm going to get back to the house, get off this old mountain here, off my property, and uh, I'm going to get back get me a shower, and get this party started. Y'all stick around. On guys all freshened up all right let's get ready to do some cornish hens right there cornish game hens all right they look big but they're not all right we're gonna get ready to smoke some of these up here we've got three of them uh they're not really that big they're only like uh I think they're about 22 ounces. I think that's what they are a piece. All right, we're gonna do them on the Traeger. All right, y'all hang with me and uh, ride shotgun. We're gonna fire this Traeger up and uh, get in some good old Cornish hens. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare some uh, baked potatoes really quick, but we're gonna put a little bit of uh, the Hita mix in with our potatoes. But first, we're gonna slice them a little bit across here. Sort of like the other video that I done to bake potatoes. But kinda, of I ain't using nothing, I'm just being careful and not trying to uh, go through the whole potato. All right. Anyway, you see what I'm doing here? What we're gonna do after that is I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, killer rub on there, but first I'm gonna spray them with some good old extra virgin olive oil. And then the killer rub. And then we're gonna wrap them in the moon pour. All right, y'all hang with me. We'll get to the chickens in a minute. All right, guys, now for the little corn hands. We're gonna spray them down this extra virgin olive oil. I'll flip them over. Spray it, coat it real good. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna use a little bit of this roasted garlic and herb. I like that stuff, it goes really good. Sprinkle a little bit on here. Already cleaned the chickens, or the 
corn head, y'all. Now we're gonna come back with a little bit of this Killer Hog barbecue rub. Flip her over. Guys, I ain't gonna change much. This is just, uh, I'm cooking this about like I do a, uh, a chicken or anything else on the Traeger. Everything's gonna pretty much stay the same. All right, now, I'm gonna add a little bit of kosher salt to it. All right, this is the breast side up, y'all. That's the way I'm gonna cook it. All right, now we got one more thing we're gonna do is uh, I'll put the cilantro on there after I get it on the grill. But we're going to put a little twist to these hens. We're going to put a little broccoli medley in there with some cauliflower, cauliflower, and some baby carrots. All right. Let's speed it up, shall we? All right, guys, let's get these out here to the grill. Got them stuffed and ready. Mmm, these are gonna be good, good, good. All right. I've got the Traeger sitting on 325, y'all. We'll go ahead and throw these potatoes on here. All right. There's one little hen. Two little hens. And three little hens. All right, now here I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on, this uh, rub on here, y'all. All right, now we're gonna put a little bit of cilantro. Alright guys, we can close the lid down and forget about it for just a little while. Alright, y'all stick around. Alright guys, it's been an hour and five minutes exactly. Let's take a look at her. Three twenty-five, same twenty-eight. Check those chicken breast out here. I'm sorry. The Cornish Done too. But 
just for good measure, since it's at 160, we're gonna give it, we're gonna go 10 more minutes, y'all, then we're gonna take it all off and taste test it. All right. All right, guys, it's at 160. It's about to be, uh, we could pull it off and let it rest, but I'm gonna shut this lid down right here. We're gonna give it about 10 more minutes, uh, just to be on the safe side. And then we're gonna let it rest for probably about five or 10 minutes. Uh, I forgot to tell you earlier, I think I did anyway, we're using good old hickory pellets on this smoke today. And uh, it's a pretty good little meal, y'all. Got your carrots, veggies, or your uh, veggies, salt veggies. You got some broccoli, cauliflower, cauliflower, your uh, carrots, and then you got your baked potatoes there, a little bit of onions and peppers. You got a whole meal right there, y'all. That's how you do it on the Traeger. Y'all stick around. We get this off here. It's going to be good. All right, guys, it's been an hour and 15 minutes exactly. Let's get these little little hens off here. Man, they smell good. Look at that, man. All right. All right, let's get in here. I'm gonna let these baked potatoes go just a few more minutes, y'all. Actually, no, I'm not. Them guys are ready too. Might as well just get it all out here and taste test it one time. All right. Y'all follow me up. Let's taste it out. All right, guys, let's try a little piece here. Let it rest for about 10 minutes. There you go. Oh, look at them juices coming out of there. That's awesome, y'all. Like that. Mmm. Very good. All right. Hot, right, guys. Another little piece off there. All right, guys. There we go. There we go. Mmm. That is awesome. That is really awesome. Let's take a look at this baked potato. Oh man, that smells great. Mmm. Add a little butter on that, baby. We're gonna let them cool off just a little bit, and then we're gonna throw the butter on there. But I tell you what. Those right there, y'all die for. Alright. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.